Bien, les voy a contar un poquito sobre nuestro ponente del día de hoy. Eh, Mauricio Ortega holds a bachelor degree in science, biology, specialized in marine mammals. He has been an English teacher for over 35 years. He has been working as an ELT consultant and teacher trainer since 1994. Mauricio has participated in the SOL and IOTOFL conferences in Mexico, Canada, Bulgaria, Central and South America, Taiwan, and China. A former professional actor and dancer, he is currently the academic and editorial consultant for Live ABC in Latin America. Un aplauso, por favor. Bienvenido, maestro. Can you hear? Ah, oh, okay, now I can hear. Uh, thank you. We have three problems. Problem number one, too noisy. Problem number two, a very ill voice. Problem number three, 40 minutes. But as teachers, we have to adapt. These teachers is a workshop. Yep, and you have been sitting here listening patiently to the impeccable presentation of the previous speaker. So I need you to move a little bit. Very simple game. If I say one, you stand up. I say two, you sit down. Simple? Okay. One. Too slow. Two. One more time. One. Two. One. Two. Three. When I say three, I need you to clap three times. Three. 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 Two. Got you. One. Two. Three. One. Three. Two. Three. Four. When I say four, I need you to stomp your feet. One, two, three, four. Simple. Four, 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 three, four, three, four, three, two. Got you again. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, five. When I say five, I need you to turn around. Michael Jackson. Woo! Simple. Five. Woo! Faster. Five. Woo! I can't hear. Five. Woo! Okay. One. One. You're standing. Two. Three. Four. One, five, three, two. Thank you very much. First activity is energizing. This is to break the ice. Okay, this is to break the ice and this is to play. I know you're very comfortable. I need people here, please. Come here, come here to the front. <clears throat> okay. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you. A very simple number game. If I say one, nobody moves. If I say two, don't tell my wife. We make a two people team. Yes or no? If I say three, we make a three. Right? Okay, let's see if you get it. People on your chairs, you don't have to come here. If you want to join, good. You don't want to join, no problem. Okay, so this is what we working in pairs. Workshop, you need to stand up. Okay, very well. Quickly, two. Okay. We have to faster. Three. 
three, 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 three. Make up your minds. Okay. Five. Two, three, four, five, 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 five. Okay. Seven. Seven. Make a seven. Make a seven. Make a seven. I need four volunteers here. Okay. Good. This team here, please. This team here, this team here. Attention, please, no problem. Attention, please. If I say the team makes a letter O, let's make a letter O. Letter O, yes or no? Okay, let's see if you get it. I need you to make a letter L. Make a letter L, make a letter L. Okay. Okay. Okay, good, good. This is a speed competition, okay? Speed competition. Now, if you think carefully, you will do this in only one move, okay? I want letter T, letter T, 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 T. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Very well. Last one. I want letter H. Letter H. 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 <clears throat> okay. 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 Very well. So, teachers, every time we do this kind of activities, my question is, what are we doing? Question, what are we doing? Yeah. It's one, TPR, yes. Two, we are mingling. Three, we are making groups, right? Four, yeah, we are getting people doing teamwork. Now, this is for action. For action is simple. I want my students to speak. So the following activities, you have to speak. Not, it's cheating to use Spanish, okay, one. It's cheating to shout the answer. Example, if I say the team makes a line, make a line, please. Make a line, make a line, make a line, make a line. Okay, good. If I say the team makes a line in order of stature, from the shortest to the tallest. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Good. Yes. Okay. Now, imagine that I tell you the team makes a line according to your age. I understand from 12 to 17, but... Okay, now I need your attention, please. This is the part in which you have to start interacting. If I say age and you start 12, 14, 15, cheating, what do you need to do? How old are How old are you? How old? Make sense or not? Okay, next activity. You have to make a line in alphabetical order according to the first letter of your first name. What are you going to ask? What's your name? 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 Got it? Okay. Okay. So, this thing was first. Let me check it first. Miss, your name? Andrea. Andrea? Brian? Brian? Diana? Diana? Alejandra. Alejandra, you should be here. Okay. Good. This was the second team. Name? Sitlali. Denise. 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 Like my mom and my sister. Carolina. Carolina. Monse. Carolina with a K? Okay. Monse, like my niece. Olivia? Sergio. Sergio. So we are checking. Teachers, next activity. You have to make a line very quickly according to your birthday from January to December. January to December. Question, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? 
okay? Still working out? This thing was first. This thing was first? Yeah, you were. But you were cheating because you were crying out the month. You had to interact. Okay, so when's your birthday? February. The 25th. March the 14th. March the 30th. March? March 18th. 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 And yours? 14th. Oh, 14th? 18th. June 1st. June the 1st? September 3rd. September the 3rd? September 23rd? When? 24th? Christmas time. Great. Okay, so teachers, we start checking. Now, what are we doing? We are mingling. We are doing teamwork. We are interacting. We are speaking. Very simple commands, right? Last activity before we continue because I'm short of time. And the noise is very difficult. So, remember the teams? Very well. So, I need you to tell me. Four. Four. Teams of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 okay, very well. So this activity is to have people mingle all the time faster. I need a volunteer, please. Don't tell my wife, she always complains. So what's your name is? Sandra. Sandra is my partner. So if I say hand to hand, hand to hand, elbow to elbow, Elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to back to back, hip to hip, Woo. cheek to cheek. Nah, okay. Yes or no? If I say body to body, Sandra has to run somewhere else and I have to pick a new partner. I cannot work with Sandra again in all my life. Yes? <laughs> Only for this game, darling. Now, if Sandra has no partner, out. Yeah? If I have no partner, out. Okay? Ready? Very well. Attention, because the sound is very difficult. Everybody, hand to hand. Elbow to elbow. Shoulder to shoulder. Hand to hand. Back to back. Hand to hand. Back to back. Hip to hip. Cheek to cheek. Back to back. Body to body. Move, 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 move. One lonely person here. Sir, move. Hand to hand, elbow to elbow, back to back, cheek to cheek, back to back, cheek to cheek, back to back, hip to hip, body to body. Move, 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 move. Lonely person, lonely person. Okay. Hand to hand, back to back, hand to hand, back to back, shoulder to shoulder, back to back. Shoulder to shoulder, back to back, body to body, move, 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 move. Lonely person, you work together. Lonely person, you work with me. Okay, back to back, hip to hip, back to back, hip to hip, back to back, shoulder to shoulder, cheek to cheek, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, body to body, move, move, move. Teachers, what are we doing? Mingling. Now, let's suppose that Sandra here is my BFF. You follow the lead, okay? And every time you are working and you say, work in pairs, yeah. Work with somebody different, no. And you know, some people are very difficult to break. This kind of activity is to have people moving because here is not my partner. This is the activity. 
okay? And with this activity, we can start moving along all the time. One, two, you don't need to teach people. Show me your head, tap your head. Show me your hand. No, simple TPR, people get it. The benefit of this kind of icebreakers is that I can apply it anytime. Students are tired, I activate them. Students are bored, I activate them. Students are stressed. Yeah, the previous speaker spoke about anxiety. Before a test, people are nervous. So we can just relax them a little bit and work because that's the way it works. Teachers, uh, the next activity implies making more movements, but unfortunately, I cannot go with that because we have no room, little time and no sound. So thank you very much. Please back to your seats and let's continue. Bandos. Teachers, if we had the time, the following activity is to make a paper plane. Now, what you're watching on the screen is just how to make a paper plane. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be this one. It can be any paper plane. What's the activity? You design your, your paper plane, you have to make it fly. You know that usually we do that in the classrooms when we're bored. The idea here is to make a competition with a game in which everybody can participate. Best part, no problem about English language, no problem about correct grammar. All we have to do is work things out. What happens when you get a prize? When you get a prize, you get <clears throat> an extra point for a test, possibility one a question that you can make during a test. One minute early to recess or two minutes early. So it's things that we can negotiate in class with our students. So, sorry teachers, no time for this, but let's go on with the other one. Okay, for these teachers, I need you to shout. And it's a work, I'm playing with game with words, with adjectives. So, what you have here is, my cat is. So, if I tell you letter A, I need you to give me adjectives. Condition number one, nothing offensive, nothing negative. Condition number two, as many adjectives, no nationalities. Yeah, if you say, my cat is Argentinian, that's a nationality, sorry, no. So, letter A, my cat is? No, 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 no. Okay, I will go downstairs. Llaman tres. My cat is? Black, letter A. Awesome. Adorable. Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. My cat is with letter F. F. Fabulous, fantastic, fairy, fluffy, funny. With letter M. My cat with letter M. Okay, sorry, cut here. Marvelous, mighty, fantastic, monotonous. With letter W. Wonderful, wise, witty, waspy, white. So teachers, all we have to do is play with this. And now the second part is make complete sentences. One more time, it is a game. Teachers, for A-level students, we use simple adjectives. But if I'm speaking about higher level students. Let's make one quick example with letter O. My cat is? Letter O. Orange. My cat is? Original. 
organized, of, original, yeah, but with letter O, optimistic. How about if we make compound adjectives? Out. My cat is out. Outstanding. My cat is out. Outrageous. My cat is outgoing. Uh, okay. Right. So teachers, what we're doing is just give a challenge to students so they can start working on different ideas. The next activity is a little bit complicated because what you have to do is describe. But there's too much noise to work on this. Anyway, uh, we're going to try. On to the front. Good. Question. What do you see? You know it? A little boy. The jungle. A lot of green. A, a lizard. What do you see? Symbols. Okay. Spirals. What do you see? Okay. How many people here can see the sun rays? How many people see a tree? Now tell me, what is strange about a tree? The, 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 the branch is in spiral, and it has sprouts going up. And there is a kid, right? Okay, now, what is happening? What is a kid doing? What is happening? Shout. Okay, I am very sorry, I can't hear, but Okay, no, sorry about that, but what we have to do in here is start describing in stages. Stage number one, what they can see. Stage number two, what is happening. Stage number three, it would be just like uh, the opinion. This is part of a film. Teachers, I am giving you this because this is part of my writing project. Not today, in two weeks, in three weeks, my students are going to write a project about this. So, we have to go on stages. Part number one is description. This is supposed to be a forest. And if we talk about magic, this should be a magical forest. Yep. And, well, that looks like a cat, right? That looks like a cat. It's a cat, and the name of the cat is the name of a very ancient Irish poem. So, this part is for description. Let's continue, let me go up. Fíjate. Ahora sí. Okay, the next activity is to decide where is your starting point. What you see here is a map. And in the map, you have different cities. But the description of the cities has to be done not from one place, but from one area. You can come from the north, south, east, or west, from any place. One more time, teachers. This is a writing activity. What I want to do is guide all the writing with my students. Now, how does it work with the activity? Part number one, we make teams. Part number two, they do teamwork. Part number three, they describe the previous slide. Part number four, they decide where they come from. <clears throat> where they come from, sorry. Part number five, question. Tell me the name of a magical creature that everybody's afraid of. Magical creature 
everybody is afraid of. I can't hear. Okay. A dragon. Okay. Teachers, what you see in there is runes, Norse runes. Very simple. The top says dragon, but this is not for decoding yet. I do decoding a little bit later but as part of a task. What I want my students to do is to start describing what are the dangers of facing a dragon. For example, yep, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the breath, the tail, the wings, the claws. So they start making descriptions, and that's going to be part of the book that they are writing. Yep. Next part, we have to confuse the dragon. How do we confuse a dragon? And this is where I need your help. We have to make a long name. Five syllables, at least. Five syllables. How do you begin? Two letters of your first name. Then, two letters of your last name. Two letters of your father's name. So, my, my dragon is God. Mayagorin. And the idea is that students start creating nonsensical words. All they have to do is follow this part and they have a lot of fun doing this. So we go on stages, team, description, place, dragon spell. Now we go for the task. And in the task, they have to start developing more activities. I insist it is part of a project. So, very well. Question, because this is about games. What is a game? Answer, a game is any activity that is giving us joy, satisfaction, and pleasure. There are plenty of different games. As teachers, we can do a lot of gaming in the class. Yeah, we can play anything. The games that we play today are just part of the repertoire, but there are many. The point here, teachers, is how I can connect my games to the content in my class. Because if I play a game just because it is an isolated game, my students think this is just to be distracted. But if I connect the game, my students remember it, and self-esteem goes up. As the previous speaker said, success is higher, motivation is higher. That would be like part of the idea of the games. Games, you can have vocabulary games, grammar games, mathematic games, pronunciation games, etc. The point here again is how I can use these games for my specific purposes in my class. Very well. What you see here, teachers, is students that are bored. What happens when we do repetition, drilling, only grammar exercises, only preparation for exams, Students get tired. Actually, that's the way my abstract begins. All day and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So they get bored. Teachers, every time we do some movement, people react. Let's have one example. I need everybody to stand up, please. Hands free. I'm going to the mirror, OK? Right hand, down. Left hand. One more time, right hand, left hand, good. Right hand, right ear, down. Left index, nose, careful. Right, right, left, nose. Left, left, right, nose. One more time, right, right, left, nose. Left, left, right, nose. Attention, right, left, left, nose, left, right, right, nose. One more time, right, left, 
left, nose, left, right, right, nose. So far so good? Two movements, two movements at the same time. Ready, set, go. And one, and two, and three. It's simple. Try it out. Very, very simple. Thank you. Teachers, this is an example of brain gym. And the idea here is to keep students doing something different, but trying to coordinate and concentrate. There are many exercises for brain gym. And the point in here is every time we create a movement, yet the brain starts immediately getting active, students pay more attention, results are better. Next, please. Next. Teachers, what you see here is an example, <clears throat> sorry, it's an example of the Finnish method. Play is central. <clears throat> sorry, every time we play, we get students' attention. Students can experiment to get the result. Yeah, they start doing trial error to solve problems. They connect, they develop critical thinking skills, and the most important thing, they learn and they have fun. They learn and they practice what they know, and they start learning and practicing what they are just learning. This would be like part of the activity. I have one minute. Yeah, and please, you notice that at the very bottom, there is a plus, plus memory, right? This is a positive memory or a positive feeling when they are playing. So learning can be fun. Learning is always useful. This will be part of the main idea. Please, the next one. So. The benefits of games, one, you get immediate feedback. You see it immediately. If you win, you're happy. If you don't win, you have a challenge to go for the next. Second part, you know exactly what is going on. Yeah, and with games, we can establish goals for short and long term. The example that I gave you about writing is for long term. Yep, and well, the rest is just extra for the games. You are reading it, there is no need to point it out. What is the point and what do we have to do as teachers? Please. And here we go with the word nobody likes. Planning, lesson planning. Very simple teachers. Choose what you want your students to do. One thing is covering the book from page one to page five. The other one is saying today my students will write my students will practice a little bit of pronunciation, vocabulary. They will know how to apologize. They will start very small uh, talk. So you decide on that part. So teachers, if possible, you see number one, connect your games with the outcome. I insist, what do you want your students to do? Number two, never give them an answer. Make them think a little bit because it happens. Yeah, we have no time to discuss this point, but it happens. Three, yeah, always give them a guidance so they can start producing. That's an example of scaffolding. Last part, the challenge, teachers. If the challenge is too low, they get bored. If it is too high, they get frustrated. So we have to find the right dose. Teachers, my apologies for this ill voice. For the ones that were here, thank you very much you made it. For the ones that were in the back, thank you, you stayed. Teachers, my mom, who is a very wise woman, tells me, Ortega, my mom, it's very good that you do what you like, because in my job, I do what I like. But it is much better if you like what you do, because when you like what you do, you're showing love and commitment. Yeah. And when you learn how to discover what you do, what you like, what you can do, what you're trying to do, you have now a new objective, a new idea 
something that you can put in practice. And as my mother says, when you teach with your heart, everything comes along. The next slide, references, that's for the photo. The next slide, next. More references, a lot of work. The next slide, please. Teachers, everything is in your hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, perdón, tenemos tiempo para alguna pregunta o respuesta de la audiencia eh, para nuestro ponente de hoy día. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda, pregunta, inquietud? Sí, por favor, le voy a pedir que me apoyen con un micrófono. Les voy a pedir que me apoyen con un micrófono. Muchas gracias. ¿En inglés o en español? En inglés. ¿En inglés? Vamos a hacer pregunta breve y concisa, por favor. Ok, um, okay it's something. Um, Pray commission me for the click to our company in right care for the words that and definitely the better will click 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 and something can lesson planning for. Casi no se oye. Casi no se oye. Por el ruido. Puedes pegarte un poquito más el micrófono. Okay, please. Well, um, something clear for all something can we wish can so for click 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 for for your will life for that um, counseling for the best words. I can say we can belt here for something complaining for it can see in the Florida can can push ya. The the culture is for everything you can cry for living co something of people you will put it on the words. Sorry. I'm sorry crying for uh, something um Pedimos disculpas porque hay tanto ruido, tenemos que cubrir así el, el micrófono. Oh, yeah. Ok, um, let me see if I can plot the girl, 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 something for I like my flash. Um, in Sinclair, we can something, everybody can do something, we can make life live. And so, um, the, um, the words, um, the skill, um, the different people, the accent, for the different words, what you like. So, the future, um, and so, and the different people, they are asking them, and so, uh, which point of the country comes to play English for this? And so, the question is for the follow them. You and I, we have to talk in here. Uh, sorry, sir, I, I cannot understand that all the words are lost. But maybe we can just talk a few seconds uh, before you leave. I, I think it's going to be easier. You know what? Uh, we have time for one more question. Anybody else? If anybody understands. One more question. Otherwise, we'll, we'll just... I am very sorry. Sir. Dante, can you come over, please? No, we don't have any more questions, so we're just going to finish. Oh. Give me one second, please, and then we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the question was about not playing with English, but I, I will talk to the teacher. Teachers, very complicated here, but as teachers, we face a lot of challenges. We face a lot of challenges every day in the class. If there are no further questions, thank you for being so patient. Thank, thank you. you, thank you very much. Can we have a round of applause? Thank you. En nombre de la Secretaría de Educación del Estado de Jalisco y en la quinta edición del Congreso Recrea Academy, le otorgamos un reconocimiento a Mauricio Ortega, nuestro conferencista de esta mañana. Muchas gracias.